Yeah, so thank you so much uh, for joining us, uh, Mr. Flavio, president of the ADIA Group uh, in Italy. Uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, having this interview with you, uh, Mr. Flavio. Uh, so let's start with uh, an update on the current status of operations at uh, ADR's production mm -hmm. facilities in India and Italy. So uh, good morning, all the people. Uh, all our plants in the world are now operational. For a Italy plant has more than 60 years of history and is the headquarter of their group. We have the well-established global business for agricultural axles and suspension with the structure OEM, like John Deere, Yuan, and Class, and many other practically. Many projects are going in different countries for different applications. ADR Italy has a big R&D facilities approved by TUV, and this is always busy with the new development and new um, homologation and the new project. For ADR India, our subsidiary in India, ADR Axel India, is representing two brands of the ADR group. One brand is ADR, mainly for agricultural and industrial application, and the second brand is SAO SMB brand for road and trailer application. We started operationally three years ago, and we are introducing our brand in the local market, and we are investing on a new product plant in Pune. We come in with a long-term vision, and after this COVID pandemic, we are even more convinced that India can soon become an export hub, as it is now with our implant in China. The, the, their axles are appraised and recognized in the world as a premium product. In India still, regulation is not a mandatory requirement for brake trolley, while in the rest of the world. It is already, already mandatory. In India, ADER has uh, uh, started to introduce vari, various optional of brake system on access for agricultural application. This aspect is important because on the, on the brake trolley are safety features and can help to reduce number of accidents. Presently, a lot of uh, education is still required, and the government also needed to put their efforts to make brake system compulsory at time of registration and homologation of trailer. Thank you, uh, Mr. Flavio. Uh, it's, uh, we've been following your progress in the Indian market, and it's been pretty good. Uh, how would you sum up the impact of COVID uh, on your business, both globally and in India, how have you coped up uh, with this challenging situation, uh, Mr. Fabio? So the COVID-19 has global impact for sure, and has a, a effect our factory in different way, depending on the location. For example, in Adair, Italy, we closed for only seven days during the pandemic peak. In India, we had to follow lockdown order of the government, and we stopped the operation for about two months. Of course, this impact, at, uh, this impact on the business. Some customers stopped or postponed the order, and in some cases, the demand reduced drastically. Probably in their market is where the situation is more critical. Commercial vehicle market is, is still not able to restart, and OEM had uh, reduced their production plant. Right, sir. I think uh, the challenge uh, remains in the Indian market, as you rightly said. Uh, the Indian market was going through a challenging phase even before uh, COVID set in. Uh, and now the situation is even worse. Uh, what are your expectations from the rest of uh, the current year 2020 in terms of customer orders and product sales? And uh, what is your strategy to handle such a crisis, uh, Mr. Flavio? Market is slowly restarting almost uh, everywhere in the world. Our factory are backing uh, for the full capacity of productivity. Anyway, in India, we don't see at the moment a fast recovery. Market was already slow in the 2019. And with the COVID pandemic, the market practically stopped. In a difficult moment, we are very close to our customer. We are ready to support them with our service. And we have uh, sufficient stock to meet any urgent requirement. As we said, we come in India with the long-term views. We are working on many projects and with different customers. We are designing new solutions to meet the requirement of Indian customers. This crisis will pass. 
and we want to be ready at the moment when we come. Glad to hear that, uh, Mr. Flavio. Yeah. Uh, while there are numerous challenges uh, that the COVID crisis has thrown up, uh, what, according to you, are the opportunities uh, that may arise from uh, the crisis? As I explained, the uh, application for the brake system on a small trailer is still not regulated in India. This is, in our opinion, uh, the opportunity for the country to introduce improvement and will make India roads safer. Government can take action and the market can get the benefit for an improvement of safety. All right, so that regulation will be uh, a very important opportunity. Uh, there's also a lot of discussion uh, on India gaining an upper hand over China uh, as a result of the COVID pandemic. Uh, what are your thoughts on the same? Uh, and do you expect your India business uh, to benefit from this uh, development, uh, Mr. Flavio? We strongly believe that India can become one export hub. Uh, we come in India with uh, this vision three years ago. And now this COVID pandemic has confirmed us that our vision is correct. We are investing in a, in a build and height hand factory that will produce for Indian market and for export. We started our plant in China 12 years ago. Now the export business model of China is well established and we are going to export to India and to have a second hub in Asia. We are convinced that we need to have an alternative to China. In among all emerging markets, India is the most interesting. Very, very interesting to know that, uh, that India is a very interesting market for uh, brands like yours, uh, Mr. Flavio. Uh, probably one uh, last thing on your medium to long term business plans. How has COVID influenced your medium to long term business plans, say for the next five to 10 years, uh, both globally and with respect to the uh, Indian market? So in our opinion, COVID pandemic has an impact on the day-by-day -day activity, but it is, has no impact on the medium and long term plan. We have many projects and the new development going on. We have many customers in different countries. In India, we had to close the factory during lockdown, but we have not stopped working in our long-term project. We, think, we believe too much in the long-term project in India for Indian market and uh, most important for export market. That's very uh, uh, encouraging and heartening to hear, uh, Mr. Flavio, that you know, over the long term, you see that still the Indian market holds uh, very high potential, also probably as a, an alternative uh, export hub uh, to China. So, yeah, thank you so much for your time, uh, Mr. Flavio. It was a pleasure uh, interacting with you. Uh, we wish you the very best for your operations in Italy and also for your uh, medium to long term plans in the Indian market as well. Okay. Thank you very much for inter this interview and we please to, to meet you sometime in, uh, in India for the next three. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure.